Are we filming? <laughs> <laughs> so today it's going to be all about training your core uh, using kettlebell. So it's a kettlebell core workout because everyone's at home and most of you probably have a kettlebell. So this would be awesome for you to be able to do. Now, when I say core, I'm not talking about your six pack. Yes, okay, we all train abs for a six pack. This is not what this workout's about. This is not what this video is about. I'm talking about core, which is, yes, your abdominals, your lower back, thoracic spine. So your trunk, I like to call it the trunk, which is all around. Our core is more than just abs. This is what we use for everything. A strong core really, really helps and transfers well into whatever sport you do. So I'm talking about Olympic weightlifting, CrossFit. If you do bodybuilding, and I'm talking heavy compound movements, it's a lot of it is a strong core will translate well into the movements. Gymnastics as well. Hence why I decided to do this video, to show you some awesome core exercise you can do using a kettlebell. Don't forget, if you enjoyed the video, make sure you leave a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. So what I'm going to do is with every single exercise, as I always do, I'm going to explain every single one of them. Right, so let's get on to the workouts. Okay, despite what this looks like, it's actually a really good core exercise. You want to make sure you brace your core first, so take a deep breath in and squeeze your abs and also make sure to engage your glutes as well. The aim of this exercise is to make sure to avoid shifting from left to right as you take the kettlebell around your body. Try and avoid letting the kettlebell pull you from one side to the other and keep your body as centered as possible. This is a great exercise that will also translate well to when performing a lot of compound lifts where you have to brace your core. Perform this both clockwise and anti-clockwise. With the front rack marches, make sure to rest the kettlebell close to the chest with your elbows in. Again, brace your core before you lift your legs off the floor. Having the kettlebell in the front rack and by raising your legs off the floor requires a lot of core stability and will help you not only strengthen your core, but also improve stability. If you don't engage your core when raising your feet off the floor, you will know immediately as you will lose balance and probably struggle to hold the kettlebell on that front rack position. You can also make this slightly more challenging by holding one leg off the floor for at least three to four seconds or longer. Make sure to do this on both sides as you will find that it will be even more challenging on your weaker side. In the video, I am using two 24 kilo kettlebells. However, if you only have one, you can still perform the exercise as you can see. To progress the marches, you can then move on to front rack and overhead march. Again, same principle applies and you have to be very careful with this. Make sure to keep the arm overhead as straight as possible and when marching, try and avoid shifting your body too much. So try and keep your body as centered as possible. If it makes it easier, you can use a mirror to ensure you're performing these correctly. However, then you want to eventually learn to perform all of these exercises without a mirror and just by feel. The windmill has to be one of my favorite strengthening and stability exercises for your core, thoracic and your shoulders. Make sure to have your legs roughly shoulder width apart and your toes pointing towards the side you will be hinging down towards. 
then make sure as always to engage your core and notice how I turn my head to face the hand overhead. This helps me make sure to keep that arm straight overhead when going down and back up. So you want to avoid bending the elbow. If you have poor mobility, you can bend your knees before hinging down to the floor. Also start without weights overhead and then progress to adding weights. To progress this, you can have both feet pointing forwards. And then to take this slightly further, you can go into a split stance and hand touching the floor. Now please be careful and do not try the progressions until you are 100% comfortable with the main exercise. Now this is an exercise that is deceptively harder than it looks. So making sure to have one hand on the bench, either by grabbing the end of the bench or by resting your hands on the bench and then having one leg on the bench and the other leg straight out behind, making sure your lower back is nice and straight and not sinking down to the floor. When rowing the kettlebell up, you will know exactly why this is one of the most challenging core exercises you will perform. Make sure to engage your core and try and keep your body as stable as possible. When rowing the weight, try and have a nice and slow controlled movement no matter how tough. And try and avoid rowing too quickly to really make your core work harder, keeping you stable. Try and keep that back leg up and legs as straight back as possible. Remember when I said you can grip the end of the bench or flat on the bench? Well, by having your hands flat on the bench, it makes it harder. And by grabbing onto the end, it gives you a bit more stability so you can always try both ways. One thing to note, if you have your right hand on the bench, then you should have your left knee on the bench and vice versa you can perform some ISO holds on the rows, especially when you row up, for about three to four seconds. The plank pass through is another great exercise for your core. So make sure you engage your core and your glutes. That would automatically engage your lower back. And then when you're passing the kettlebell from one side to the other, make sure you keep your core engaged throughout. As you can see, this is a great oblique exercise as well. To make this more challenging, you can put the kettlebell further out of reach, which means you will work even harder to reach that kettlebell. That's the video. Thank you so much for watching. Any questions, as always, uh, leave a comment below. Hopefully you can add this into your routine and uh, yeah, build some strength around your core. And if you do have a lot of lower back issues, some of these exercises are wonderful for helping alleviate, alleviate? Alleviate. Alleviate. Um, low back pain. Um, if done properly. Don't forget to like if you enjoyed the video and don't forget to subscribe. That will be uh, wonderful. I need to stop saying awesome. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Thank you so much for watching. Peace out. Ooh.